Hey folks, I'm Philippi and welcome back to Ixion. We're here in our semi-blind playthrough as we're working our way through this weird sector of the blowing up Etanaki, uh, the UN ship. We're trying to um, rearrange our ship to be a much more optimal setup than I had it in my sort of hodgepodge layout. Right now we're researching um, something. Don't quite remember what it is, but it'll be done soon. Um, I've shut down the steel mill and all these things, and I'm trying to tear them all down. I'm going to move all that stuff over here um, as fast as we can. I'm trying to move all the iron over here as well to get that done. Oh yeah, vertical technology. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That gave me an extra um, uh, truck out of these things. So that's good. Let's go in here. Um, let's consider what else we would like. Waste treatment center could be good. Fusion station. 15 ice into water every 10 cycles. Steel mill. This is reduces the power cost. Could be good. Polymers. And needs the intelligent lab tech lab upgrade. Is that here too? Yeah. Let's take a look at the tech lab. Where's the intelligent lab? That's here. That needs the assistant promotion. Yeah. So let's get the tech crowd upgrade because I think some tech is uh, locked behind that. And then we had some stuff out in space that needed to be done over here. Thanks to the intensive psychological and medical follow-up, the Stanford team was able to conclude the study. A solid aluminum particles carried by the winds of P-41 created the network of tunnels. The erosive process has transformed the topography of the planet. When the particles collide with each other inside the tunnels, a reverberation generates a low-frequency vibration. When it passes through the inner ear, it alters the human neural activity. Uh, we will not do that, so we will leave the planet. Oh, look! So let's get that colony done. So Stanford, uh, click that science first. And uh, medical district. Ooh, showing no signs of lethargy. Z, uh, or ZY6073 leaped into the onto the team as they opened the stasis box. Following a drop in comms connection, the team's vital signs began to change. Uh, reviewing mission data, Eden postulates the form of assimilation has taken place. ZY6073 appears to have put one of the team's suits and has boarded the Hope. Inputted flight path data suggests his planned return to the Tycoon. Uh, depressurize the Hope. Destroy the Hope. The electromagnetite has passed through the CRUC system. And the Tycoon is still online. Congratulations, Administrator. I thank you. Well, we lost another science ship. So I guess I have to build one more. Let's take a look. And our docking bay over here. Build another science ship, please. We do have some ice here, we do. Okay, so I want to stop collecting ice. I have enough for the moment. Let's head out here. Uh, no more ice. For the moment. Yeah, you can turn off ice as well. Let's get that stuff done. good for now. 
That's too bad about the hope. But I'm glad we destroyed the zombie. Food seems to be okay. Not wonderful, but okay. So yeah, I started to take apart some of the stuff in here, because we don't need it. Uh, this uh, colonization center will go. So I can start reorganizing this room to be more efficient. We have a little bit more space in here now. That's good. Need all of this to go. And we're working on it. Maybe I'll grab one of the other EVAs and move that. That was an accident there, no big deal. Got a lot of stuff moving over here. How happy are you here? Plus one. Okay, so I can't destroy that just yet. Let's just take a quick look at... Um, Where this should all go. So the optimized quarters are all over here. So I've got to clear this stuff out of the way so I can build the housing over here and move it. Workshop and all that stuff needs to get out of the way too. And then I can build my steel mill somewhere else. The problem is I got a lot of stuff here that needs to get uh, handle first. Let's um, move the rest of the bodies over here. And do I have a place for electronics anymore over here? I do not. So let's make this electronics. Let's change this so that uh, we have a hundred more bodies on this side, 110. There we go, bodies. 770 please. I would like you and you and you to be at zero. these bodies out of here and I can move them around. Sector 2 should be set to 3.30, it is. Good. Okay, I want to stop the iron from coming in. I'm going to turn off this. I'm going to turn off all my ships, actually. I'd like to get one of these docking bays going, so perhaps this one.
Ah, good, you're gone. Okay, so let's set up the roads over here. So it should be the... I have this reversed. Does it matter? If I reverse this? It does a little bit, yeah. Okay, we'll have this reversed. I basically want this to come across here, like that. Once that's hooked up, I can eliminate this lower thing and I can put in the final components for here. There we go. Let's do that. Eliminate this. Then I can stick in the space, the docking bay, right there. Um, I'm going to pause that. Turn off the power. And I want uh, space maintenance, medium. I gotta rotate this to be like that. Uh, and I think that one I'll build. Give me a little more options for stuff. There we go. So we got our space section done. Oops. Done. All planned. Now we're gonna work on this section. So if we take a look at the road over here, that's the wrong thing, here we go. Hold on, I just gotta save the image here. It's not gonna work. Finding a little confusing to look at, so just pardon me a second while I snipping tool this picture because I'm rotating it um, over. I'd like to save as a JPEG, please. Sure. No. Save this as uh, this is uh, Xeon. Save. Close the snipper. Let's open. Desktop. See on. Just open in. Sure, photos would work. Then I want to rotate this the other way around. That's not going to work. Never mind. Never mind. Okay. Let's think about this. So I want optimized quarters. So it should be blocking, and then one more. And then blocking and one more. Okay, let's get those built. Because that's the start of it. And the other side of this road should be Actually, I can build two more like that on the other side of the road, right? Uh, not quite. I'm going to cancel that. I want to build the workshop over here. Like that. There we go. 
So now that matches my map. Let's see if we can get these all done. Let's go see what's in space. Are you guys done anything? You're finished. Sanford. I'd like you to head up here. And the deuterium. How about you go to the habitation wreckage? And we'll get this uh, underway. I can uh, not avoid this. Can not avoid that. That's fine. This is fine. Looks like the storm is totally past now. Turn all this back on. Perfect. Uh, I can get one of my ships to go and collect the food. And I'll get another one to collect the... Yeah. Collect the... that. Perfect. That's good. Back over here. Get this stuff done. And let that science ship collect a, uh, the data there. We'll have this stuff build away. Can I make you a priority? And uh, let's bump the speed up here. Oh, and you should be done, right? Yeah. So, uh, science lab, science ship doesn't have anything else to do, right? Moves faster, gets some crap. Okay, tech lab, intelligence lab. Thank you. Uh, you got a little bit more science to do here. We'll get that done. Then we'll take a look at the habitation wreckage. Our sensors have identified a section of the Edmanaki drifting in the Crook system. Initial readings indicate that a large amount of floating debris is present in the area. We have also detected heat signatures, electronic, electromagnetic emissions, and a weak radio signal deep within the wreckage. We are currently unable to decrypt the signal. This is the deuterium's team. We have entered the habitation sector wreckage. Many mutilated bodies and cryopods float in the void. We have been unable to pinpoint the exact area of the unusual readings. The team will start to sort the intact cryopods from those that have been damaged and prepare for the retrieval of the cargo ship or push deeper into the ring into the residential ruins. Hmm. Let's push deeper. Okay, we'll head back over here. Let's see how this is going. Good. I'm gonna have you also be cryopods. Once this is online, all the cryopods over here. Sector 6 should have zero. There we go. Do have a docking bay built here. Do I have a lot of stuff over here? I don't have a ton. Let's build another um, building here. 
and we'll build the other infirmary. And let's build the other battery while we're at it. And maybe the alternative life center. Good stuff. A science ship team has completed a task. Uh, this is the wrong thing. I made a mistake. Have to come back to that. I put the wrong thing down. I didn't mean to put that there. Uh, you're not quite there yet, but you're almost there. Habitation sector. Making progress through the metal debris that lies everywhere has been difficult. The Edamanaki has been constructed from a range of extremely strong alloys, and we have come to an area that has fallen a fallen debris that forms a precarious cave around us. Two paths forward are possible. We could pass through the large section of pipe that has been laser cut. Temperature analysis of the cuts indicate it happened some time ago. Alternatively, there is a reinforced tunnel leading away from here. Its uh, sides are covered with bullet holes. We could continue to use the drilling rig, but one of these paths is surely save us time. Which one should we do? Let's continue drilling. An accident has occurred in the typhoon. Max over here? I am. A science ship has arrived at its destination. Okay, let's uh, get this underway. Uh, let's build um, P42. Do I want to build the big station or the little station? I'm going to continue to do this one because I don't have the uh, colonists. Let's get the Drakkar. Do it. Alright. 
back down here. Keep building crap. One house done here. These are getting done, yeah. Okay, let's uh, delete that. And we'll delete this one. Clearing up some more room over here. Really wish that these would uh, hurry up and undo. Warning. A sector is being overworked. Is being overworked? You're being overworked. Okay. What came online that caused that to happen? I also don't have enough food over here. You need 30 more workers. Okay, I need to wake up some workers soon, I think. Uh, um, I don't need the probe here, so let's uh, unpower that. How many workers do you need? There's 10 workers there. You need resources. So that's three hundred. Let's make this one hundred. Really would like that stuff to come over. Doesn't appear to be wanting to move. Yeah, resources need to be collected. Polymers. Do I have a place for polymers? I do over here. Okay, let's, um... Move polymers sector one. Let's have it be zero. And in sector six, let's have polymers be a hundred and ten. Perfect. We'll get this cleared out. And I'll make this a um, an alloy holding bin as well to give my trucks another another round of trucks to do stuff. Just wait till these are delivered over here. There we go. So I'm going to change you to alloys, please. There we go. I don't know why this one is not working as properly as it should. Okay. Uh, you, I can turn off. Give me a few more workers back. Uh, yeah, and let's move some workers over. From section one, only workers to section two, yeah. And we'll move, uh, let's say, 20. 20 cover it. Uh, it'll get closer.
Getting ever closer to getting all this stuff built. Let's just see what this last thing has to do here. This is working. Yep, we got food now. They got other stuff. Cool. So let's just see what this does real quick. Population sensor complete. This is done. It took time to get through the wreckage, but we have reached the area of the readings. There is a small shelter cobbled together from the surrounding debris within it. A new request awaits your attention. A number of broken drones, shaped like deep sea creatures, float in the lack of gravity. They bear the BMS logo of the Black Market Society. This is the first time we have seen machines like these. We have transmitted the schematic and data, and the purpose of further analysis of the drones to be conducted back on board the Tycoon. With a small recess in the back of the shelter, we have found the corpse of an Etamaki soldier with a now spent breathing apparatus. They had tried to modify one of the broken drones to produce an improvised heat source. He had been dead for several days. The weak radio signal was transmitting from the suit's emergency beacon, we presume in an attempt to contact other survivors. Cool. Let's send, uh, is this the deuterium? Yeah. Uh, and actually you can collect what's here. And then we got some stuff here that we want to do. Yep. Cool, we got a research project, I love it. This is the drone threat, is that here? Drone threat analysis, yeah, let's get rid of that. And I just want to check on this real quick. Good, this is down. Between episodes, I'm going to do a little bit more rejigging of this room. Hopefully, I can get some stuff done. We got, we got starting to get it looking like I want it to look, but it's taking a little bit to get there. Anyhow, hope to see you in the next episode. Have a great day.